it is time for a Utah Jazz rebuild, turning them from, I'm going to say it, pretenders to actually legitimate contenders. Now, we know what's, what's happened in the playoffs. We know what happens in the playoffs. Always a really, really, really solid to great regular season team. And then in the playoffs, we've seen what happens. They haven't done enough, which enough would mean a championship. And I am here to change that. Time to get them a championship. Time to make moves to this roster that will push them over that edge before the video starts you guys know what to do drop that like for me subscribe if you are new more subs more subs more subs beat up that youtube algorithm like comment whatever you want to comment just comment below uh deny the vision.com y'all want a hoodie go check out the go check out the site check out the prices international shipping if you're if you're not in the u.s and let's get to it now who am i trading away i don't think they're getting rid of Mike Conley. They're clearly not getting rid of Donovan Mitchell. And I don't think anybody would want Rudy Gobert's contract. So those three guys are staying. Uh, Rudy Gay, uh, Bojan Bogdanovic, Jordan Clarkson, Joe Ingles, Hassan Whiteside, Roy Sony. Literally everybody is expendable if I build this team to how I want to build it. Now, a rumored player that has always been rumored and that I trade for way too much is the first guy that I'm going to attempt to get on this team. Yes, from the Pistons. Yes, Jeremy Grant. Why wouldn't you try to add him to the roster? You can improve the power forward position, the small forward position for the Jazz. And then I have another thing in mind as well to improve. So I'm going to see if I can finesse this Piston team. Maybe a pick or two is good enough for, or maybe just a pick for Jeremy Grant. For this trade, I do most likely have to offer up Bozam Bogdanovich because of the salary that they are making unless for some reason I could offer quite a bit less I don't know if I want to get rid of Joe Ingles or keep him off the bench but I'm trying to win a championship year one off the bat because that's I mean they're third in the conference in the western conference right now they're contenders but let's make them just undeniable championship run first year is what I'm attempting and then if I could go multiple years win multiple championships we do that but for now this is what I want to do if I could throw in I don't do I throw in the sixth man of the year? All right, so I was attempting it with different players. I'm going to just do it with Bozan Bogdanovich. Probably give him a pick or two or a bunch of second rounders and uh, see if it goes through. Why? Um, I don't want to blow up the team. I do not want to blow up the team. Uh, if I did uh, with other players, I would have to blow up the... Dang, I don't, I don't have... It for, I mean... They would most definitely want a first, of course. I will throw in other players, but for now, four second rounders. They agree. I'll take that. I still have a first to trade away in future trades, but that elevates us. Yes, Joe Ingles goes to the starting small forward role. I could move Grant to the small forward. I could move Ingles back to the bench, try to find somebody to fit in at the small forward role. Because I know after this first season, I'm pretty sure he declines. He's a 34 years old. That's why we got to win immediately. Um, I don't want to... I mean, there's going to be changes to the team. Obviously, Rudy Gay is a new addition, so he might be traded away if I find a player that I can bring back. Whiteside's on a minimum, so I'm probably going to keep him as the backup big. Jordan Clarkson, sixth man of the year winner last season. Most likely going to keep him. Royce O'Neal as the... I, why do they... Does he really run power forward for you guys, Utah? My man's 6'4". And I'm pretty sure Pascal's like, he barely gets any playing time for y'all, right? And now I'm going to look for a backup point guard because Mike Conley, one, is getting older, two, at times has been injury prone. Why would my Bulls do this? I mean, they got Lonzo, they got Caruso, they have Zach Levine, they have Io, uh, who is the new guy on the block who has been playing actually really well for a rookie. Kobe White. What's his value at? Where's his value now? Is it lower? Is it higher? Is it at the same spot as it was last season? I don't know, but I'm going to go ahead and try to see it. Um, my Bulls could use a power forward. Obviously, I would love for it to be Jeremy Grant on the squad. But we really got Javante Green at times running our power forward at 6'4". Patrick Williams is injured. Derek Jones Jr. is 6'5". Why not a 6'8"? guy that could run the power forward position i think it could run out the team nicely as well rudy gay played in san antonio with the rosen so they have a little bit of chemistry there and i might give the bulls a first rounder give me kobe white they say no it's not gonna happen huh ah uh, i give him jared butler they give me marco they say no i don't have any other picks to give away towards them damn look at my bulls front office trying to get the best out of this trade jordan clarkson rudy gay and a first or joe ingles rudy gay and a first for Kobe White. 
Rough. Don't have the most to trade away to try to get an upgrade at our point guard position. Backup point guard position, that is, because obviously I'm keeping Mike Conley. Shake Milton is that man that I'm going for. I looked at a lot of point guards in the league, and obviously Milton is at that 1.85 million. Eric is not getting many minutes uh, for the Utah Jazz. We'll give him a first round of the suite in the deal. They say no. I don't think we're finding a backup point. I don't know who to trade away. They did want Whiteside, but I like Whiteside. He's a backup, bro. He produces. Simple as that. He produces. I don't want to give up a young Udoka. I don't know how many years I'm going if I'm, he's ever going to become a backup for me. So that's different. That's different. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Uh, throw in Butler. And I really can't bring anybody back. When in doubt, just go into free agency. I was thinking of Isaiah Thomas, but I'm like, Quinn Snyder likes his defense, right? Am I not mistaken? I don't know if he's going to be getting minutes, but I signed Chris Dunn out here. Better backup than my... Uh i'm guessing i don't know if he would be since like technically chris dunn isn't signed right now i'm going back to a 10-man rotation and we'll see if coach what coach does what does he do he does give dunn minutes pascal's there butler's there so as a book a 13th man butler 12th man pascal's 11th man 10 chris dunn 9 royce o'neill white side rudy gay probably gonna move o'neill back to small forward keep his second position power forward is my guess Give Jeremy Grant more minutes at those at the power forward position. And he does go up to a 78 overall. Keep his secondary position power forward. He might start and move Ingles to the bench. He doesn't. He doesn't. Okay, we're good with that. Maybe fix around these minutes a little bit. Clarkson should be getting a lot of minutes. Rudy Gay, maybe like 18. Whiteside, like 15. Royce O'Neal, like 12. And then we give more minutes to at uh, 13-ish. 10 minutes for Dunn is more than enough. 30 there. Our star should get a little bit more. Ingles maybe like 28 and Grant should definitely get in the 30s for me because he's versatile, guard multiple positions, can score 20 points a game. Is this more than enough? Time to check the system proficiency. Perimeter, why is this startup perimeter sector? If his favorite is pace and why is, I don't know, that happens to my last rebuilds. Why is it like that? Is it just start default? I'm a probably running balanced. I don't know if I just had an accent right there. I spoke really weird, but I'm running balanced. Uh, rough start, but why are we losing? so many games i might have to make moves or at least just change this to an eight not an eight a nine man rotation um uh, but it's a tough west return to the return player to g to, to the g league continue simulation wow it's gonna be tough isn't it we have studs on our team I mean, we have like what 290 or donovan mitchell rudy gobert and then a really really sub good supporting cast and then they step it up and we're fourth right now see uh, didn't they do this in the, in the <laughs> didn't they do this in real life sometimes they struggle like, they're the most consistently inconsistent team. And there we are. We're second all of a sudden. What? See you guys at the end of season number one. Maybe we win a championship. Maybe we don't. We were second, and then we finished first in the conference. I'm taking it. Uh, Jokic is the MVP of the season. He gets his second MVP. Evan Mobley is a rookie of the year. Uh, Andre Drummond, six man. Defensive player Giannis. Most improved Drew Eubanks. Quinn Snyder, coach of the year. Goon. Goon rebuilding. At it again. Alexander, is that the same guy? That's not the same guy. That's not us. That's not us. I'm the executive of the year. Uh, any all NBA teams? I don't think so. We're most definitely got a defensive team. At least we should. Um, Rudy Gobert, all defensive first team. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That is us. A bunch of Los Angeles people. Uh, one Clippers, two Lakers, and then Lonzo Ball, all defensive second. We shall take that. We are number one in a tough Western Conference. We're either up against any of these teams. The MVP is ninth. What? 28 a game for Donovan Mitchell. Stud. Stud, and not only that, it's incre incredibly efficient. Did y'all see that? Did y'all see his numbers? 53%, 41, and 89, almost a 50, 40, 90. That's disgusting. He should have got a lot of MVP votes. Are you kidding? 18 for Jeremy Grant, just like that. He's the second leading scorer for Utah. Jordan Clarkson, 16 off the bench, still being his six man self. 15.6 for Mike Conley. Rudy Gobert getting 15 freaking boards with three blocks a game. Exactly what he does. Rudy go. I'm going to say Rudy Gobert again. Rudy Gay, nine, four rebounds. We'll take it. Part 36, 18 points, still a bucket. Joe Ingles bringing in his defense and his sniping ability, only shooting 33%. Never mind, he's not doing that at all for us, but it is okay. Uh, Whiteside, ridiculous producing man, 15 and 14 would be if he was playing part 36 minutes. And then Chris Dunn, Royce O'Neal getting some minutes. Not many, but 
Hopefully they're doing okay. Team stats, we are number one by two games. The head of the 76ers, the head of the Warriors, points per game, top 10. We'll take it. I'm taking a top 10 team. Defense, number one, but only by point six. By point six, our differential is not the best. The Warriors have the best differential. I mean, we're right there, though. We're in the convo. Championship contenders. Now to see who we're up against. Simulate this this play, we're up against a Clipper team. <laughs> we would have been up against the Lakers or the Clippers. Either way, it would have been tough because the other team was the Nuggets. The easiest one probably would have been Sacramento, who clearly don't make it. But this isn't fair. A 90 overall Paul George and a 96 overall. They add Mitchell Robinson to the squad as well. This is uh, hopefully we ball out in the playoffs. And we are absolutely a playoff team. Championship caliber to The Utah Jazz are going to Utah Jazz. Make it to the next round, please, against an eighth seed, please. Thank you. Up against Memphis, John Moran. Um, he's leading them. Maybe he's a little bit too young, too inexperienced still. Hopefully, I can get past this. Um, but they are a deep team. I'll give them that. They're a deep team. They're conference rank four, but we're conference rank one for a reason. We should technically have the big three, the star power uh, to beat that. Okay, that was that was ridiculous. That was freaking ridiculous. Let's go ahead. New Orleans Pelicans. Um, Pe You know the Pelicans. You know the freaking Pelicans and how annoying they are in 2K. They add Kyle Kuzma, so they made a move. Um, But they're annoying. They're annoying. If we get past them, I, c I think we might have a championship in the bag. A championship in the bag against the Utah Jazz? What? <laughs> what? I just tweaked heavy <laughs> Jazz versus Heat. You guys know who's on the Heat unless they made some moves. It looks like they have not. Uh, Yeah, they have it. They have not. Still same bench. Still same team. Do we beat them? Do they beat us? It is going to be a tough matchup defensively. They both should be solid. It all comes to the star play. The star play. Seven games. Seven games. Championship. We're going to see if we can get a repeat. I made a couple moves. We go seven against the Lakers, seven against the Heat, and we are champions in year one. Donovan Mitchell gets his help. Hopefully, this was enough for some of you Jazz fans. I know you guys wanted it to get him help. Um, I got him a little bit of help. 290 overalls, obviously, already on the squad. Not getting rid of Mike Conley. Traded for Jeremy Grant. He's a perfect piece for every team. I'm telling you, if you're a championship contender, call your front office. <laughs> Tell them to trade for Jeremy Grant. Championship squad, how much more, how much better can we make it? Add a better point guard than Chris Dunn. See what kind of even more help I can bring to this team and make this an easier road to the finals, even though yeah, I guess we had two seven-game series. So zero seven-game series. Demolish everyone. Captain sort of realistic in that first season, and we still won a championship. Time to go a little bit more unrealistic. Morris is, I mean, this isn't super unrealistic, but Morris is out there. The Nuggets are willing to give him to me. Solid point guard backup. I'm happy with it. Rudy Gay, I'm scared he's going to start declining now that he's a seven, not, that's not a 78, a 35-year-old man. And we're getting the 13th pick. We're giving up Jared Butler, but we're getting the 13th pick, meaning we get Morris and the 13th pick. I'm taking it. We'll see what I could get at pick 13. Don't know if he's going to be good. I don't know much about the incoming draft until a little bit closer, but 13th. Let's see if we made a good pick. Who did we go with? Who did we go with? We went with Trevor Keels. He's a 73 overall. What could we have gone with? A 74? A 75-year-old, Ty Ty Washington, uh, 74, 75. Year I knew he was good, but I don't know if I wanted another big. We didn't do the best. We didn't do the best, did we? We did not do the best. He's a 73 overall. He might not be of any value to us, but we'll sign him anyway. All right, the team looks a little bit different because one, Joe Ingles signed really fast with like the New York Knicks that I didn't even get a chance to sign him. I don't know if I would have signed him or for the money that they signed him for because um, I know he's going to decline. Uh, Mike Conley went down one overall. Who else? Rudy Gobert went one down, one uh, uh, down. Oh, I can't even speak right now, but he went one overall down jamie grant stayed the same we signed Otto porter to take over the spot for joe ingles which i'm not mad at uh we also ended up obviously getting monty morris in the offseason and we got demarcus cousins and we got thaddeus young we got vets got vets off my bench not mad at the thaddeus young signing that's honestly really 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 clutch 
in real life would be really clutch as well on my bench still running a 10 more rotation we'll see how well they play we'll see if any of them gets mad i don't think any of them will get mad one more minute to distribute out here i'll probably give it to grant because that's my big three of mitchell grant and rudy gobert mike conley of course a really solid guy i mean yeah these beasts too let's go with big four or let's go with big three Donovan Mitchell, Rudy Gobert, and then Grant and Conley combined together make that big three. Still going 10-man rotation. Yes, the team looks different. No white side, no Ingles. Will it be enough? Will it be enough still? I know I could blow up the team and obviously trade like Conley for an upgrade or something in 2K, but in just in real life, I just don't think it's going to happen. Conley's not going anywhere. Gobert's not going anywhere. And Mitchell's not going anywhere. Rudy, only because, I don't know, uh, nobody's going to want that massive, massive contract. Donovan Mitchell, because he's your star. So you got to play with players around him. You got to trade with players around him. Um, Rudy Gay, Bogdanovich, uh, Ingles, Clarkson, even though it might hurt uh, to trade away some of those guys, uh, it's for the for going all in. It's about the attempt of going all in. Here we are still four stars for balance. Perimeter centric looks okay too, but then some players start getting mad. We're going balanced. Is it enough? I know teams get a lot better. Or do we start better than we did last season? Nope. No, we don't. No, we don't. We might. 2K is weird like that, but hopefully it's just the Jazz starting slow again. If I get worried, you'll probably see me making moves. If not, we'll see you at the end of season number two. Hopefully sneaking back into the top three of the conference. Top three in the conference is all I could ask for. I don't think we're going to win a championship this season. First season is usually the easiest. Second season, teams just improve drastically. Third season, it's just ridiculous. Like to the point where they play in teams. Could be number one seeds to be honest trey young mvp absolutely ridiculous numbers paolo wins rookie of the year six man goes to context in oklahoma he goes there quite a bit and i mean now i've seen it like twice Giannis, defensive player like always james weissman most improved udoka wins coach of the year park same thing executive of the year um probably just a defensive team is my idea of what we're gonna make out here and not even the first team but a second team rough rough out here memphis is number one number two is new orleans i mean we beat them both how is our team doing 10-man rotation donovan mitchell still obviously the leading guy the main star still second leading scorer is jeremy grant 17 for clarkson same thing as last season conley does what regress a little bit but still shooting 41 he shot 44 percent last season from three that's insane 26 minutes this time he doesn't need to get all the minutes in the world porter 11 6 and 2 those numbers might be a little bit better than what joe ingles put up 14 boards, 2.5 blocks, 7 for DeMarcus Cousins with 5 rebounds. Per 36 is 19 and 13, so he's producing off the bench. Morris, 6 and 3, starting 11 and 6. I mean, the bench is still super nice. Thaddeus Young, another, like, Swiss Army knife type of dude that does a little bit of everything. Don't know why his three-pointer is at 0%. I will probably go uh, three seasons. We're up against Dallas. Obviously, a ridiculous Luka Doncic. I don't know how I'm going to mess with this team considering the the contracts considering the contracts mike conley it's a team option i might accept the team option and then trade them away obviously i said the first season was kind of more realistic second season a little bit less realistic and then third season we just don't need conley anymore if we don't win a championship he's gone he's gone but also what's up with royce o'neal <laughs> he doesn't shoot well he doesn't play well in 2k I'm probably not picking up his contract, or I'm picking up his contract, and I'm trading Mike Conley and Royce O'Neal together, and we're finessing some team out here to hopefully make another push at a championship in Season 3. Season 3, Season 1, we already won. Season 2, I'm not saying we can't win, but I just don't see it happening. We're up against New Orleans. New Orleans is always freaking scary. Uh, they add Dennis. Nick Alexander-Walker probably improves there. Kyle Kuzma still off their bench. Their bench is looking deadly. 380s off of it? Three? That's nice. It's almost as nice as when they add Zach Levine, but not really because that makes them absolutely ridiculous. Oh, man. There you guys have it. We absolutely get destroyed by New Orleans. Who wins the NBA championship? New Orleans does. Wow, what a surprise. Zion Williamson overpowered in 2K. I hate it. I hate it. Now we go ahead and do what I said I was going to do. Bridges. That's my, wait, where is Bridges right now? Oh, he's still with the Hornets. Okay. Um, Because I saw Doug McDermott and I got tripped out a little bit. We'll add Conley. They want Clarkson. They want the... Oh. 
I don't want to give up Clarkson, but Terry coming back as my point guard or something. Uh, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. What would I have to add here? I'm adding Royce O'Neal. Uh, the Jazz would acquire 2.77. We'll add a young guy that we just got last season. Monty Morris will still probably be a bit better in my is my. Oh, he's got value. This is going through. This is going through. Second rounder, we get a first rounder. Sure, Terry taking over my point guard spot most likely. And then Bridges either my small. Yeah, he's probably running my small forward. And Grant at my four. Defensively, technically we're not getting we're getting worse. He's a C plus. Terry's what? A B plus. Mike Conley is a, a. And Royce, of course, an A as well. But he besides defense, what does Royce bring? Not mad at it. Not the most ecstatic about it as well. We won a championship year one. That's the good thing. I already feel the stress, the the relief of winning a championship, the relief of of completing the technically the rebuild. We wanted to win year one. I won year one. Now we'll see if we have enough. Clearly, we reached the second round. We went up against New Orleans, who's absolutely overpowered in 2K. We'll see if we have what it takes. Nine-man rotation this time. Terry at my one. Switch them over to point guard as well. He stays the same at an 82 overall. We might just be the worst passing team um, because he only averages three assists. Donovan Mitchell averages 4.6. So unless he improves drastically in that, we might be the worst passing team. Bridges now at my three. Defensively, we take a hit technically. Still have Otto Porter off the bench, who I believe should be at a B plus. He's at a B plus compared to a C plus. We'll see what happens. Jeremy Grant's still out here who could guard the perimeter, who could switch. These guys could switch. The team can switch, besides probably Rudy Gobert, of course. Which, honestly, the bench doesn't look bad. Uh, Azubuka has not improved too much. We traded away that young guy that we had for the ability to bring in Terry and Bridges. So we'll see. Is this enough? Bridges, 32 minutes. Grant, 29. He was my second leading scorer. I don't think that's going to be the case this season. A lot of minutes to Mitchell. A lot of minutes to Rudy Gobert. They got to carry heavy. Um, I'm scared. Obviously, the super unrealistic way would be to go ahead at ooh, pace and space. That's what he likes to run as well. But does Rudy get mad? Seven seconds is good. Oh, we're running. We're running. You guys know me. We were fourth at the, like, all-star break. Then they kick it up a notch. I don't know why the Utah Jazz do this, but they do. We're conference rank one. We have a chance of another championship. Trey Young, again, MVP. Rookie of the year, Victor. Six man goes to Drummond with the Cavs this time. Giannis, still defensive player. Chet, most improved with New York. Why is he most improved? Oh, he went from 11 to 6. Okay, okay. Makes sense. Quinn Snyder, once again, this happened year one. Let's go two out of three seasons. And Rudy makes the... Whoa, Chris Dunn went to the Brooklyn Nets, and he made a defensive team. Hello? I mean, he won a championship with us. He didn't get much minutes, but it is what it is. Uh, um, uh, But yeah, Rudy, all defensive second team. That's literally the only team. I was hoping Donovan Mitchell because... Uh, he should be carrying hard. He goes up to six assists. Like I said, he had to step up his facilitating, and he does. 26.5, six assists, two steals a game. 50, 38, 87. Go ahead and carry that. Oh, Jeremy's still the... Wait, wait. He's only getting 31.9 minutes. He was getting like 29, at least what I was giving him. Per 36 would be 21. Throughout this entire rebuild, he's been the second leading scorer. Terry, 16 points with four assists, so he steps up his assist as well because I guess, you know, Lamelo doesn't have the ball all the time. Terry starting, and he's shooting really well. 16, well, 15 and a half for Bridges. Okay, yeah, any of these guys. These guys could go out for 20 any night. We have Jordan Clarkson uh, still balling, not getting 17 or 16. Um, he does decline, but he's still really solid. A man still a baller. 21.6 would be his per 36. Rudy Gobert, 12 boards, 2.6 blocks. Why does his rebounding get worse? Is he getting less minutes? Not really. Not really 0 0.3, 0 0.4 less minutes, but he goes from 15 to 12. Otto Porter, really good guy off the bench. Really, really solid guy off the bench. Six and four for Monty Morris. Another good, solid guy off eight assists per 36. That's where I'm getting some facilitating from. And then Chris Boucher, um... Can never really complain. Double double per 36. We won year one, so I'm already happy with that. We're gonna go ahead and simulate the play in. Like I said, these play in teams are still ridiculous. They got, I mean, Westbrook should be balling 27 and 7. He might not be as efficient. They have Barnes at the four, Carl Anthony Towns, Anthony Edwards. Like, that's a really solid team. Kevin Love returns. It's a nice team. Uh, we should win on paper, on everything, we're the number one seed and, uh, up against an eighth seed, but you never went, you never know with 2K. 4-1, Denver, super nice team. Um, besides their, I mean, he probably plays better than a 76 over, oh, that's per 36, I almost, did I see, wait, was that Russell Westbrook's per 36 as well then? Um, 
Michael Porter is an 87, 81, 97. They got a nice sixth man. Their bench is their bench is solid. Their bench is solid. The team is solid. I am kind of scared because they do have that MVP caliber player. Technically, Donovan Mitchell should be our MVP caliber player, and we go four one. This might be that that what what I was hoping for, an easier path to the finals. We're up against Phoenix. Still with Chris. Okay, dude, this team's nice. When do you guys get it? When did how did you guys get the three, the third overall pick? How and why? From who? DeAndre's a 91. Devin Booker's a 91. Chris Paul is still Chris Paul and around. They add Cody Martin, Alec Burks, Jalen Smith, and Bruce. They have Bogdanovich still. He's going to come and uh, he's going to give them all our secrets. A seventh seed. I told y'all the playing teams. Is this not what I said? Is this not exactly what I said? These playing teams are ridiculous still. I'll simulate the playoffs. The Cavs win it. The Cavs. Darius goes for 30 and 8. Chris Paul gets absolutely destroyed. Okay. Okay, 2K. One, seven seed Phoenix. That shouldn't happen. Two, I don't think the Cavaliers should have won with Larry Markin and running their three spot. Like, what? There you guys have it, though. Not the most success. I mean, technically, we finished number one in the conference twice. Twice? What did we finish in the first season? Dude, I already forgot. I'm tripping. Anyways, we finished like top three every single season. I take that as a success. I take it as a success since we win the first season um, with minimal moves. Literally one trade plus in addition to my bench. Plus, we still ran a 10-man rotation, which I am proud about winning a 10-man rotation. To me, sometimes that's harder. And this is how I leave the Utah Jazz. Yes, it went on the more unrealistic side since I don't think they will trade Mike Conley. They might just let him walk eventually. Beat up that YouTube algorithm like always. Drop that like, subscribe if you're new. Comment down below what you'd like to see next. Would you like to see me trade for? If you want to see less trades of certain players, because I know I trade a lot for Jeremy Grant. And I'm probably going to overdo like the Pacers guys that are on the trade block. So y'all let me know if y'all get tired of this. Because <laughs> cause I like keeping it realistic with the guys that are mentioned. With the big guys that are mentioned. But we'll see if I keep doing it. Jeremy Grant, I do a little bit too much. Enough rambling. Like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. DenyTheVision.com. Get yourself a hoodie. Check out the website at least um, at the very minimum. But as always, guys, thanks for watching.